Uh, we are stepping in also in this two-wheeler uh, uh, business here, not only four-wheeler. This is completely uh, carried out here out of India. Here on the radar side, we are talking meanwhile at sixth generation of radar. We have reduced the cost significantly, really significantly. From my point of view, a key element is the infrastructure here, what we have uh, in, in this country. The traffic situation here and the environment is really, really complex. First thing I want to ask you is because you are an expert, a domain expert in the field of A dash, like Asad said, I, if I'm not wrong, 26 years in the area of A dash. Now, I mean, if I look at it from the Indian perspective, you know, if I look at other systems, I mean, things that even Continental has done in India, a lot of systems underwent, you know, a change in terms of the way. They were developed in terms of cost, in terms of design, to suit Indian requirements. What worked in Europe not did not necessarily work in India. So, in the area of ADAS, are you seeing such a trend emerging, where India will need very specific tailor-made solutions, or will global technology be enough? I think, yeah, the, the, there are. Uh, the, yeah. No, let me start the other way around. Totally agree uh, that cost is uh, the one significantly driver in order to be successful here in India. And this is not different in ADAS, uh, not at all. Um, on the other hand, um, and here I would like to make an example in order to explain this a little bit on a radar sensor. Um, doing a radar sensor development, it costs huge of money. The development of antenna to uh, make the validation uh, with this uh, kilometer, what you have to drive and all that stuff. And doing this for a specific market only, I think the volume maybe are not enough if you don't have the global market in your mind. Uh, on the other hand, and uh, here on the radar side, we are talking meanwhile at sixth generation of radar, we have reduced the cost significantly, really significantly. And uh, meanwhile, with the sixth generation, we are talking about a, um, a single chip solution. It's only one controller on the PCB and that's all. Then you have your antenna and the, and, uh, and, and, and the PCB and the housing power supply, that's all. And from this point of view, I think we are already moving in this direction what India needs in terms of the costs. And um, also the validation of the software with this kilometer, what you need, um, I think India is contributing to that what the global market on the ADA side, I'm talking about ADAS, what the, what the uh, ADAS products are bringing in from other countries as well. Nevertheless, there needs an ad adaptation. Uh, here in India to the uh, environment, to, to the traffic situation, no question at all. But uh, doing a complete separate development, I'm not sure if this would be really cheaper to do high development costs what you have for such a product. And this is also our strategy uh, saying, okay, for this key components, and here I would like to count radar, camera and ultrasonic for the Indian market, because they are very low in the cost already. Other components like LiDAR, high computer, uh, HP, uh, high uh, 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 compute power, HPCs and all that stuff. Yeah, they would need another uh, separate development. Uh, but from my point of view, the driving functions which, are, uh, which the market is asking for right now can be covered with radar, camera and uh, ultrasonic. And here we are really on a good uh, uh, situation already in, in terms of our costs. Right. And you, like you mentioned, you know, you will need to make some changes to this to adapt to the Indian condition. These changes, will they, uh, is Continental's tech center in India capable of carrying out these changes? Or yeah. is it done mutually, locally? No. Um, I would say at least maybe uh, difficult to say a percentage number, but maybe 80% or something like that. Uh, this is done here in India. And um, let me make an example. For example, uh, we are stepping in also in this two-wheeler uh, uh, business here, not only four-wheeler. This is completely uh, carried out here out of India. And uh, therefore, they have the knowledge in order to make the adaptations which are necessary for the Indian uh, traffic situations, environment and all that stuff. Yeah. 
and uh, now but what is the scope of you know ada systems for two wheelers in india I mean, two wheelers specifically are very cost sensitive in india so do you see a scope for any entry level ada systems out of these ultrasonic sensors camera radar any scope for them on two wheelers yes absolutely and uh, here um, i would even start with this radar sensor again for functions like blind spot monitoring for uh, acc functionality for forward collision warning these are i think the first functions which uh, will come here and uh, here the radar sensors and i can only make the same reference again our sixth generation radar is uh, in a range which definitely we are in a good position in order to sell this to the customers here so uh, do you think the two wheeler market could be bigger than four wheeler or will it be the car market which will be bigger I mean, which is a larger opportunity uh that's a difficult question my assumption would be the 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 the, the four wheeler market is still bigger uh it, yeah the, i think uh, india is meanwhile the, the the fourth big manufacturer of cars uh, worldwide and from this point of view i think uh, the four wheeler market is still will remain the, the the bigger one yeah and also in terms of the content of the of the sensors per vehicle for example uh, when it comes to the complete adas market let me make an example for, an, for in a car you have maybe uh, four radar sensors in each corner of, of the bumper and uh, then you have a content per vehicle of four radars on the two wheeler you have maximum uh, two radar sensors one in the front and one in the back and therefore content wise even per vehicle you have more sensors and therefore yeah the number of of vehicles uh, multiplied therefore you have the four wheeler uh, four wheeler business will be bigger and will also remain bigger so the three systems that you mentioned uh, camera the radar sensors and the ultrasonic sensors so out of these three if i'm if i understood correctly do the radar sensors offer the biggest opportunity right now immediately in the indian market i would say with this um adas functions what we are offering right now in the market but this is an an, an current status for the radar yes but i think when it comes to parking then it um, then ultrasonic is cannot be uh, compare, compared with radar or or camera price wise uh, ultrasonic is, is 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 much bigger but for upcoming uh, features also the camera will catch up definitely in in terms of volume so so uh, now but with these three systems a uh, typically a car would be like what l2 a level 2 autonomous vehicle because like most car makers in india nowadays define that and they sell it to the consumers they say it's a level 1 autonomous vehicle or a level 2 so where would a vehicle with these three systems be certified at yeah uh, with these three systems i would say uh, level 2 should be possible depends a little bit on the architecture of the um, car manufacturer because when i compare this with uh, global o oems Partially, they are asking for a small ADCU in order to combine radar uh, cameras and ultrasonic in a in a small uh, ECU. But we are not talking about the high computer HPC or something like that. This is a completely different story. It's a small ECU, but even cost-sensitive uh, um, OEMs are also going in the direction saying, okay, such a small fusion should be done on an host radar or even in the camera this also is uh, feasible in order to get rid of even this small ECU if this is really really cost competitive uh, cost sensitive uh, at this uh, uh, point in time yeah okay and coming back to these three systems uh, are right now all three of them or any of them being manufactured in india locally no no we have no manufacturing in india at the moment it is uh, we are strong in this focus in the region for the region no question at all on the engineering side i think we are very well uh, positioned on the manufacturing side it is of course uh, uh, a matter of uh, um, volume in order to build up such a plant or even production line and all that stuff this is huge invest 
And from this point of view, we need a certain volume. And as long as this is not given, then it is more beneficial for us uh, on an econo economical uh, wise uh, to ship the parts from outside. Even we know tax topics and all that stuff, but um, uh, we are focused on that. We have an eye on that, no question at all. And uh, as long as uh, or uh, uh, when the volume are big enough, then definitely we are open to uh, think about here uh, the production uh, in India as well. And moving a bit away from these three uh, parts, if, if I talk about the, like you spoke about the higher end of the ADAS system, you know, like the HPCC and the other advanced uh, components, what kind of scope do you see for those in the Indian market, especially given the, you know, the erratic and the uh, very diverse conditions on our roads? How will the ADAS be able to cope up with those conditions? Yeah, that's um, a, a good question. Uh, from my point of view, a key element is the infrastructure here, what we have uh, in, in this country. Um, on the highway is one topic, but uh, when we are going to urban environment or something like that, then definitely it is a challenge in order to go to a higher system when we are talking about level two plus, level three, level four systems even. Um, I think this will be, uh, this will cost more time or this will take more time um, and we come here in India to um, autonomous driving, let me say in that way. Um, I think the, the, the traffic situation here and the environment is really, really complex. And when I'm talking about uh, environment, it is not only the painting on the road or something like that, lines on the road in order to make lane detection for auto, uh, autonomous driving. It is also the, the the interconnection to to GPS, for example, which it's a key element. Uh, be have uh, precise maps and all that stuff. Um, I think this all has to come together in order to realize uh, such an autonomous driving. We see how difficult it is in in, in other countries, and then even they are starting with uh, level two plus system up to 60 K kph. For example, in Germany, Mercedes at the moment uh, only in traffic jam situations where it is allowed, not with higher speed. It takes additional time in order to uh, make more validation. I'm even not saying this is not possible with the with the sensors today, but also the validation and the software behind that uh, needs simply more time, more kilometer uh, or miles driven uh, in, in order to make the simulation. And this is, from my point of view, still a long way uh, to go uh, to achieve this same level here in India, especially in urban environment. So the potential for these uh, complex systems like the HPCC would be limited in India, if I say in the medium term. In in the in the up, uh, next years, I would say yes. Yeah, I would say yes. It depends a little bit on the speed, how fast this country is in order to build up the infrastructure. I cannot judge that, uh, yeah. but this is definitely a precondition in order to to move forward. Otherwise, it will really take uh, much more time until the systems are capable to deal with uh, traffic situations, environment, what we have here right now in urban. Uh, 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 environment situations. And uh, Norbert, you've been working on ADAS like we discussed for more than two decades now. So when ADAS started out as a new technology from there till today, what is the kind of difference it has made, say, in reducing the accidents or bringing down, bringing down the fatality rates? Uh, what what is the kind of difference you've seen in the last, uh, say, two decades? The difference uh, over the last two decades is, from my point of view, the speed. I'm talking about now worldwide. Worldwide. Yeah. The speed, how the penetration of such ADA sensors are uh, introduced into the market. Um, you are, you are saying, okay, I'm working since more than 20 years on, on this topic and let me let me make an example. It started, everything started with an ACC sensor and uh, it was an AC, ACC sensor only between 30 kbh and I think 160 kbh. This was the, the speed in Germany uh, where you could drive ACC and it took really quite a long time until we have seen a reasonable penetration. 
when it comes to uh, re reduction of fatalities, you need a certain penetration, otherwise it is simply not feasible. And uh, it took on the radar side, especially several years, I would say even almost 10 years, until uh, really you have seen a reasonable penetration in order to s have the effect saying, okay, yeah, okay, now I see also an impact on these fatalities or something like that. Uh, and this has changed now dramatically. Everybody is thinking in the direction of level three, level four. And having this in mind, you are introducing automatically these ADA systems even to lower platforms, smaller platforms. Uh, and therefore, they are contributing, even you don't have an automatic running, but even ACC contributes to reduce the, maybe not fatalities, but accidents in general. And therefore, the speed of penetration has changed dramatically from my point of view. Right. And uh, in terms of tech development for ADAS technology right now, going forward, like you said, you know, India is a complex market. It will take time to change the software, also the infrastructure to catch up. Similarly, there are a lot of different complex markets. So what is the role that India will play globally for continental in development of ADAS technology? The yeah, Indian Engineering Center. Yeah, yeah. I, I think the Indian market itself, with this uh, number of vehicles, what you are producing here uh, for Asia, not only for India, but for Asia in general, uh, this is a huge market for us. And uh, therefore, being part of that, this is our clear goal, saying uh, our products, what we have already uh, available, I think we are very well positioned. We have the R&D organization here in the location for the location. We can uh, deal with the customers uh, directly. We are fast in the reaction. Therefore, I think uh, this is this is uh, we had the, the baseline and the foundation here for India and also for us. And um, this is a huge market. And due to the fact that we see now with these first cars here in the market that there is. Uh, uh, um, a huge focus on this ADAS functionality and, and also the, the, the end user, the driver, wants to have more and more such fun functionalities in, in, in his or in her car. Therefore, yeah, this is uh, definitely for us huge opportunity and this is our clear goal and strategy to be part of that. Yeah. And, you know, you spoke earlier about when you were in Japan, you were there for some time, you've also been associated with European markets. So you've seen very different markets across the globe and you're also seeing how India is shaping up. So when you compare India to the rest of the markets you work in or with, how, for, according to you, what is the key difference for the Indian automotive market in terms of technology adoption? How is it different from other markets? Yeah, I have to think, uh about this question a little bit i think it is um the speed what i see here in india with uh these changes with this introduction and all that stuff um let me compare i i, I said it now 20 years uh, ago but even when i was in in japan when i see uh, when I look back, how long does it took to introduce a new system into the market and all that stuff? Um, from my point of view, uh, India is here uh, on a way with a different speed, and I think this is good. Uh, and this would come to my mind at first when I compare now Indian market with other regions. They are uh, much more, yeah, much slower in introducing new technologies than uh, that what I see here in, in India. Speed is a key Great. topic. Speed is it? and speed being faster in India for yeah. adoption. Yeah. Brilliant. Brilliant. Thank you so much for your time, Norbert. It was a great conversation. Even I got to know a lot about ADAS and new tech. So very insightful conversation. Thank you so thank you much very for much. your time. Thank you for your time and thank you for the question. Thank you.